We are just days away from one of the biggest Universe Mode events of the year, the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Always one of the biggest, best and most excited events of the year. So now let's take a look at some of the matches you're going to be seeing at this year's show. We are going to be crowning a brand new NXT champion when Sami Zayn meets AJ Neville one-on-one -on -one for SmackDown's newest exclusive championship. Now both these men made it to the Rumble by being victorious in two separate six-man battle royal matches. So now let's see what happens when two of the most promising, athletically gifted young superstars on the SmackDown roster come face to face with the brand new NXT gold on the line. In Raw's main event, two legendary superstars will finally meet once more as the world champion The Rock defends his gold against Big Evil, The Undertaker. Now this match has been over a year in the making, it's been intense, there has been twists, there has been turns, there has been surprises and returns, but The Rock and The Undertaker will finally meet one on one Sunday at the Rumble in a match that was chosen by you the viewers at home. And what a fitting match you did choose because it is going to be Rock, Undertaker, no holds barred. So who is going to come out of this one on top in this intense rivalry and more importantly who is going to be leading the Rumble as the World Heavyweight Champion? We made some massive changes to the SmackDown main event of the show because again, as decided by you the viewers at home, it was originally going to be CM Punk vs Kevin Nash and Seth Rollins vs a yet to be announced opponent in two separate matches, but you guys decided you wanted to see these two matches combined, so now Rollins doesn't only have one opponent on Sunday, he's going to be having two. These three men do have plenty of history and all three have been involved in each other's business in recent times. Rollins has come out on top against CM Punk in the last two meetings, both times indirectly assisted by the NWO leader Kevin Nash. This due to Kevin Nash repeatedly getting in the business of the former leader of the group CM Punk. Well, thanks to you the viewers at home, CM Punk has got another shot at reclaiming a championship he held for over a year. And will also finally get his hands on Kevin Nash at the very same time. So, does Punk have too much going on to focus on his main objective, whatever his main objective even is? Will Seth Rollins find a way through and escape yet again with his World Championship intact? Or will the leader of the NWO, Kevin Nash, finally put down CM Punk for good and become the WWE Champion in the process? Many questions, little answers, but we will get those answers this Sunday at the Royal Rumble because it's Punk versus Rollins versus Nash in a triple threat match for the WWE Championship. And the main event of all main events, the most anticipated match of the year, the 30-man Royal Rumble match. Now of course, the winner of this match will get a main event title shot at this year's WrestleMania. We already know some of the huge names that are going to be taking part in this match. Those names include the likes of Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Kane, Batista, Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan, John Cena, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, Ryback and many, many more. That's not forgetting, of course, that each year at the Rumble, there is always a surprise or two, and I'm sure this year's is going to be no different. But this match, as always, is sure to be a great one. All the biggest stars, all the biggest names, all under one roof, and in one massive match. Who is going to be booking their place in the main event of WrestleMania? We are going to be finding out this Sunday at the Royal Rumble.